Yo, 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 what's good? It's Nate Sports on Sports. We back in the building with my man, B. What's good, B? What's up with you, homie? What's up with you? Same old thing. It's a different day. Yes, indeed. We back in the building for another one on um, week nine, week 10. Recap and review, preview and all that. Um, let's get right into it, man. Um, week nine. It was crazy. Um... Let's start off with um let's start off with the Texans and the Jets. Um the Texans beat the Jet uh, I'm sorry. The Jets beat the Texans 21 to 13. Um Gary Wilson makes an eye popping TD. Um the Jets um snapped the five game skid. What you think about that game right there cuz that was a um What's that a um, Thursday night game? That was a Thursday night game that we both, the Texas was up by seven and we both picked the Jets that night. We and, did. And we uh, Gary Wilson made that catch that uh, it looked like Jordan Duncan, didn't it? <laughs> you know, it looked like Jordan Duncan. Exactly. Exactly. Um, so we're going to move on to. Um, we both picked the Jets that game, right? Yeah. yeah, we both. Yeah, we both picked the Jets. I got it. I, I'm, okay. I'm just lining it up right now. All right, um, good deal. Sunday, Dallas Cowboys and Atlanta Falcons. The Atlanta Falcons beat the Dallas Cowboys twenty-seven to twenty-one. Kirk Cousin throws three TD passes in that game to beat them boys over there. Um. We both picked Atlanta. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, if, if you want to say something about these teams, just let me know, okay? Yeah, yeah. Keep on okay. rolling. All right. Um, the Miami Dolphins and the Miami Bills, I mean, on the um, Buffalo Bills. The Buffalo Bills beat the Miami Dolphins 30 to 27. Mm -hmm. um, bad 61-yard field goal. Gives Allen and the Bills a thrilling 30 to 27 win over the Dolphins. Mm -hmm. Um, that game, I picked Buffalo Bills, and you picked the Dolphins. I got one behind you already. Already. Yeah. Um, the roller. Raiders versus the Bengals. The Bengals um blow the um Raiders out. 41 to 24. Mm -hmm. Burrow ties career high with five TD passes. It was a good game for him. There you go. You know, and it was a blowout. It was an easy win, you know what I'm saying? So for yes, the indeed. Bengals. So both of us picked Cincinnati. Yes, sir. All right. Um, Chargers versus the Browns. The Chargers beat the Browns 27 to 10. Justin mm -hmm. Herbert throws two TD passes. And they beat Jameis Winston and the Browns 27-10. Um, I picked the Chargers and you picked the Browns. I'm down two. You down two. Down two this week. All right. Um New England Patriots versus Tennessee Titans. Tennessee Titans beat the New England Patriots 20 to 17. Nick Folk, 25 yard field goal in OT. And they took out, they won the game at the end. So the Titans won 20 to 17. We both lost that game. We both picked New England. I'm still down two. Right. Um, the Washington Commanders, they are up next. They are your team. Mm -hmm. They played the Giants. Mm -hmm. Um, the Commanders beat them 27 to 22 as Jaden Daniels leads them into the 27-22 win and in their best start since 1996. Ain't yes, that sir. I was 16 you. years old. Best start since 1996. So, we both picked the Washington 
Commanders. I'm still down two. Yeah. Cause we always try to win here. We're not trying to yeah. get, we're not trying to pick who, who we, yeah. fans and all this and who thinking, nah, we're not doing none gotta, of that. We gotta, gotta always have our upset. Who, who who the friends thinking they gonna nah, we we picking word, who we think word. gonna win this time. You know what I'm word, saying? Word up, word so, up. So at the same time, um New Orleans Saints played the Carolina Panthers. Um, that. <laughs> that hurt us right there. Um, the Carolina Panthers, too. yeah, the Carolina Panthers beat the New um the New Orleans Saints twenty three to twenty two. Mm-hmm. We both picked New Orleans. We both picked New Orleans. That's crazy. That was a big upset of the weekend right there. Yes, sir. It was. Um, let's go to the Denver Broncos and the Baltimore Ravens. The Ravens beat um Denver forty-one to ten. Oh my God! Yeah, Henry scored two <laughs> two touchdowns. It was an easy word. It was easy word. I ain't even gonna get into these. Stats, yeah. man. It was it's yeah. easy. Um, I think we, both, we we both picked Baltimore. All right. Um, moving on to the next game. Jacksonville Jaguars was over there in Philadelphia, where they played the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, your team. Yes. Um, the Philadelphia Eagles. They beat them 28-23. Saquon Barkley was uh, outrageous out, out there, man. Was- well, let me say this, Nate. And, oh, so on. and I said this this week to a uh, couple of Eagle fans and a couple of just football fans. Um, they said that, you know, when Jaden Daniels threw the Hail Mary, that was the play of the year. Nah, I think Saquon Barkley, what he did – He's going to actually get a, 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 you know, I don't even play the video games no more like that, but the move he made to juke one person, spin off one person, and jump backwards on another person, that might be the greatest football player I've ever seen in the NFL. And they're going to make it on the Madden. Soon as I get, guarantee you that play is going to be on Madden. Soon. Mark my, my word. Hey, you might be right, man, because right now, man, everybody loving it. And, uh, and you never seen it before. You never it's never seen before. And it is what it is, man. And yes, uh, sir. Barry Sanders in Detroit was the closest thing. Like they saying, oh, he right there with Barry Sanders and this and that right now. You jump, you spun off someone, you juke someone, broke a tackle, spun off one, broke little tackle, and jump over a grown man backwards. And you ne- you probably won't ever see it again. They always say we never see something again. You probably somebody gonna try. Somebody try. Just because of what he did. But to see that and watch that in live time, it's big there. And, and look, going back to um New York Giants, um, what's the name of the thing they had? Um, the journal HBO. Talking about hard the um, knocks. Or yeah, hard knocks. Um, what the owner say? I can't get no sleep. If, yeah. Um, if 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 Saquon Barkley go to Philadelphia Eagles, well, he ain't getting no sleep right now. He ain't getting no sleep right now. He no, definitely not getting no sleep now. That's ridiculous. But you know, shout outs to them. Thank you for giving them giving Saquon to us. Thank you. Let's go. Um, moving on to Chicago Bears and Arizona Cardinals. Man, the Arizona Cardinals beat the Bears to death. It was 29 and 9. Um, both of us wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do I get one? Hold on. The yeah, Cardinals. I think you picked the Bears and oh, I you got the Cardinals. One. You pick Arizona. And you picked and the Bears, pick right? Chicago, yeah. I'm back right. one down now. Yeah, you right there. You right there. I see. Okay. I see. Um, Detroit Lions versus the Packers. 
The Lions beat the Packers 24-14. Mm-hmm. It looked like you got another win. Oh, we back even. We back even. We back even right there. All right. Um, Rams versus Seahawks. The Rams beat the Seahawks 26-20. We both picked the Rams. Mm-hmm. We still even. We still even now. Um, Colts versus Vikings. Um, we both picked the Vikings. We still even. <laughs> still even. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, we still even. Chiefs versus Buccan Buccaneers. We both picked the Chiefs. We still even. We both picked the Chiefs. So we look we even right now. We even. Is that it right there? I think yeah, that's, that's it. Pretty much it. That's pretty All much right. it, dog. So it's on okay. you. All right. Let's get into these trades that happened this week. The trade deadline. And we had some trades that happened last week. But um, the 49ers acquired Khalil Davis for a seventh-round pick from the Texans. Um, uh, He's coming in for the 49ers. Uh, You know, from the Texans, it's best to see what he can do. Um, A lot of injuries have happened for the Texans. With him, and they're trying to just get some conversation for him. Then you got, <clears throat> let's just get to the big ones. You got the, well, you got Ernest Jones. Yeah. And um, from the Seahawks linebacker for the Tennessee Titans, Jerome Baker, a linebacker. It was basically a player for player. And the, the Titans also received a fourth round draft pick in 2025. Okay. So Cam Akers, the Vikings received Cam Akers. For a 20, 26 seventh round pick, the Houston Texans receive a conditional sixth round pick. Sixth round pick. Uh, I think the Vikings picked up Cam Akers, in my opinion, with Adam Jones, with, with, with Jones, uh, knowing that he's been banged up, they're trying to have some security. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm going to get that one later. I'm going to go back to this one later. But um, so Davis White, the Ravens acquire him for a seven-round pick. The Rams acquire a seven-round pick. Uh, so going into the Baltimore trade, um, that was coincided with what Washington did because Washington wanted Marshawn Lattimore, which we got. And we got him for – him and a fifth round pick for a third round pick that came from the Eagles. Thank you all so much uh, uh, for Dotson. And then a fourth round pick and a sixth round pick. So you get you get a pro bowler. You get a pro bowler, um, four-time pro bowler for that, and it's not even our picks. So that's a good trade in my opinion. Now going back to what I said about Baltimore, the Baltimore Ravens also wanted Marshawn Lattimore, but they didn't want to get the picks up. So we basically outgave them picks. Pittsburgh Steelers acquired Mike Williams from the New York Jets yeah. for a fifth round pick. That's gonna be big. You got a you got an old school quarterback that know how to get the ball to the big time players in them tight situations. Big time pick in my opinion. Um, Khalil Herbert, running back. The Bengals get him from the Bears for a seventh round pick. We're going to see. They're playing right now, actually. Uh, we're going to see how he's going to do. I think one of the biggest trades was Zadarius Smith. The Lions get him because, you know, they Aiden Hutchinson, he broke his leg. So he's out for the year. They're on the road to try to win a Super Bowl, and the Browns give him to Detroit fifth round pick and a sixth round pick. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, left tackle Cam Robinson 
The Vikings get him from Jacksonville for a, set, a conditional seventh round pick. He was one of the top 10 picks that year when he came out. Deontay Johnson. Uh, the Ravens get him, a speedster from the Carolina Panthers, fifth round pick. Uh, and let's go back to the pick that I want to hear your, I want to hear you on this right here, Nate Dog. Yeah. Um, the Dallas Cowboys get Jonathan Mingo for a fourth round pick. Now, we've seen the Andre Hawkins. We talked about them last week, Amari Cooper and all of them. You give up more for Mingo than you would have gave up for him. Talk to me about that. But the kid from Carolina you talking about? Yeah, he, he's had one catch, one yard in the last four games. I think um, Dallas got scammed. Um, it's okay. That kid, they, they talking about he was nice. They – they talking like he nice like that, but uh, well, he now now granted he was nice coming out of high school because he was projected he was better than Jamar Chase, Justin Jefferson, and all of those guys coming out. But he stayed hurt at LSU. He stayed hurt, and so he never really got on at Carolina. So I guess the Cowboys see some in them that we don't. Well, if you don't, if, well, if you see something in him right now, it's not going to help him in these games right here with Dak Prescott on the injury reserve list. And we're four games, he he's done for four games, so you can't put him in the game like right now. He's dealing with who the other um, who the um quarterback who the quarterback right now. Uh, it's uh, it's not yeah. um the other um the kid from South. They, they, they need to be. They need to give Trey Lance a chance. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Not the kid from Trey Lance. Um, not the kid from San Fran. Trey Lance. They got Cooper Rush in there. Cooper Rush is playing now. Right. So you can't just throw him in the system and just think he gonna do something. Shit, he didn't do nothing in Carolina. So we'll see. Rock. That's it. On to the injury report. Let's go. Ain't nothing I can ain't nothing I can tell you on that. You know what he gonna do? Nothing he can do. And, and guess what? It's Dallas week. Uh oh. Nothing to say. Ain't nothing to say, man. See you Sunday. And nothing to say. All right. Let's go to your injury report. Let's do it. That's it. it. That's it for the injury report? No, that was it for the last week. For the oh, okay. Trip. That's it for y'all. Okay. So yeah. um the injury report for the the Ravens tonight. Keaton Mitchell, he questionable. Rashi Ali, he questionable. Um, Keaton Mitchell had a knee injury. Rashi Ali had an ankle injury. Travis Jones, ankle. For Cincinnati, um, you know, T. Higgins, he had a quad injury. Um, Charlie Jones, groin. Orlando Brown, knee injury, fibula. B.J. Hill, D. Tackle, rib injury. Geno Stone, safety, shin. We'll see what happens. Um, it's rough right now for both teams, so we'll see. Because both teams need a win right now. Yeah. All right. So, now we're going to move forward to... The next weekend, this weekend, week 10, week 10 games, and I'm, I'm going to take the scores while you call them out, B. Okay, you ready to roll? Ready. So, we're going to start with a game tonight, right? Bengals right. Ravens. I'm still going to go with the Ravens. I'm going Baltimore. Even though they're down by seven, I'm going Baltimore. 
Okay. I'm going to go with the Ravens as well. All right. The New York Giants and the Carolina Panthers. I'm going with the Giants. You going with the Giants? Yeah. Hold on. Let me get a pen. I got, I'm trying to find me a – Take your time. Take your time. Don't even worry about it. I'm going I'm to grab the marker right here. Mm -hmm. You going with the Giants? I'm a, they in, um they overseas, so that game gonna come on early. That game gonna come on like at nine thirty in Munich. Right. Um, let me switch it up. I'm going for I'm going for Carolina. Okay. Bears and the Patriots. Bears and the Patriots. Ah, it's a tough one there. Um. Old boy hurt his ankle. They left him in the game. Why? I don't know. I'm going with New England. That's my upset of the week. New England over the Bears. Bears. I'm going for the um. I'm going Bears. I'm going Patriots. Okay. Okay. All right. One o'clock. Buffalo Bills at the Indianapolis Colts. I'm going Buffalo Bills. I'm going Buffalo too. All right. Denver Broncos and the Kansas City Chiefs at KC at 1 o'clock. Patrick Mahomes, Andy Reid, Kansas City. DeAndre Hopkins, yeah, Kansas City. Yeah, I'm going KC too. I can't, I can't do it. I can't. I want to, but I can't. Atlanta Falcons at the Saints. Falcons, I'm going with the Falcons and Kirk Cousins again. I'm going for ATL, too. And the Saints have just – they fired their coach on Monday. They got rid of their best defensive player, basically. And I got to go with the Falcons. Yeah, I'm going with the Falcons, too. I can't yeah. – The Saints. 49ers and Tampa Bay. Um, This one is going to be tight. Uh, I heard McCaffrey's coming back. And Nate, you know I played you in fantasy this week. I wonder should I start with Cat for my fantasy team? Um, they playing in Tampa, and Tampa played hard against Kansas City on Monday night, buddy. That was a woo woo overtime. Um, but I think it took a lot out of Tampa Bay to play that hard. So I'm going to go with the Forty Nines. I already put it on the on the paper, man. I already know Forty Nines, Forty Nines. Ain't nothing to talk about. There you go. All right. Pittsburgh Steelers come to Washington. Pittsburgh, uh, he, they, they got Mike Williams. We got Marshawn Lattimore. How much they would play the first game or whatever. But it's going to be a tough game for both teams, in my opinion. But you know who I got to ride with. I already know. You know I, who I got to ride with. I already wrote that down. It's easy. You know who I got to ride with. Matter of fact, hold on. I got something for you. You said we doing surprises, right? Yeah. Uh, here comes some surprise for you. I got a surprise for you. What you got? What you got? I got a surprise for you. My wife got me this. I am a breast for coming up. I got a surprise for you. You see what we got right now? Daniels and McLaurin. There you go. I see. Yo, I'm going with Washington, baby. Washington. Okay. I'm going to ride with the Steelers, man. There you go. Okay. All right. See, see. We, we you don't want to pick us. I know why. Because you want us to lose so you can be number one. And I understand that. It's Thank so you. I appreciate you. It's all good. We, okay. got good. we got a good. We got a good nine minutes to go. To go. All right, let's go. Let's Vikings go. and Jaguars. I'm going Vikings. I'm going Vikings too. All right, Tennessee Titans and the Chargers. I'm going Chargers. Tennessee and the Chargers. I'm going. Um. I'm going Chargers, too. All right. The Eagles and the Dallas Cowboys. Shit, um, you already know what the vibe <laughs> is. Yo, I don't want to say this, but 
I'm going Eagles. I thought you were going Dallas. You said no. You- I, I ain't listen. Hey, hey, Nate. You said we both trying to win. I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm not stupid. But you don't have that, and I'm not stupid. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to you got to go for what you know. Now you got to win. I, now. Jets said Cardinals. I'm going New York Jets. Mm. I'm switching it up on you. Talk to me then. I'm going cards. All right. Good deal. Switch that up. I like the Jets. I've been riding with the Jets all the whole time. We both been riding with the Jets. Yeah, I'm going to ride with the cards this time. I think they're going to have some momentum off the game they won last Thursday. And that's why I'm going with Jets. Yeah, I know. I feel you. Detroit Lions and the Houston Texans. Mm, that's a crazy one right there. Not for me. Detroit Lions. Against Houston, right? Detroit Lions, I think it's the best team in the NFC. I think they, yeah. Right now. And Houston. Hey, right now. in the words of Stephen A., it's fluent. It's fluent. It's Houston, like water. Right? What now I say? It's like water. And Houston, right? Yeah. I'm Detroit. Going I'm going Houston. Upset vibes. Okay. All right. We go to uh, Monday night. Miami Dolphins at the Rams. Miami at the Rams. Who you got? It was me. I'm going Miami Dolphins. They plan for their lives. I'm going with the Rams. Okay. Good deal. That's it. Yeah, I'm going with them um with them Rams. I like that. But yeah. Mix it up. Mix it up back and forth. Yeah, you got to. You got to. And I don't, I think we done with everything we you know what I'm saying, the talking points. Um anything else you want to discuss on, you know, in the NFL? Uh man, listen, I'm just the game's been good. Um been back and forth. A lot of teams are starting to make their mark now. It's November. It's when you start to put your foot down and, and show the team you're about to be. And um, respect, the Eagles are definitely showing that. Um, they're definitely showing that they just like, okay, uh, if their coach get his head right and stop going for two and then try to kick a 60-yard field goal almost, you know, like, y'all are a great team to beat. I want to see how we respond with my team to a big-time game and a big-time team in Pittsburgh. Um, we had home, but Pittsburgh is one of those teams that, hey, you got to come to play, to play Mike Tomlin team. Um, y'all got the rivalry this week with the Cowboys. Even though they banged up, it's still a rivalry. Yeah. Uh, don't mess around and play around. Yeah, you mess around and play around, you'll be laying around. There you go. And then so it is other than that, is, you know nah, man, it like, like I think it's gonna be a good week of football. A good match, some, some good matchups. It was a great week last week. I think this week was gonna be good as well. Yeah, it's gonna be a beautiful week. Um, I think um, you know, it's it's, it's cowboy weekend. I'm with a cowboy week. I think we're going to um, go in there and take over and do what we do. But we'll talk about that this Sunday. This Sunday, right? You know, I got a lot of things. You leave that this Sunday. I know. Hey. You know I, yeah, you know, I got a lot of things to discuss. And anybody want to get on, we can always talk. They don't want to get on. They yeah, don't want to. Listen, they don't, don't want to get on right now because, see, me, that's fair. I'm gonna get on regards. Yeah, me too. Hold on, you breaking up. I'm gonna get on this thing. Yeah, I see it. You breaking up. I'm back. Yeah, you. Hold on. 
Talk to me. Talk to me. Hey, can you hear me now? Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. All right. So, so we ain't seen we them boys. We ain't seen none of that this year. See me, my red. I still, I still say Redskins, but Washington, if they doing wrong, I'm gonna say they doing wrong. Cowboy fans still, they think they, they believe they can win the Super Bowl. Mm. Hey, let them now, Nate. What y'all can't do, they beat y'all. Oh, social media gonna be flooded, dog. Oh, no, they'll be flooded. You already know they back. They back. They gonna be back. They come out the thing like roaches. They coming. When the light come on. But guess what? So, so real quick before we get up, what y'all gonna do to them? We're gonna pull the um the, the um the casket out the ground. And do what <laughs> with it? <laughs> We're gonna open the casket. And then do what? Pull them out. And then what? Burn them up. And then what? Shovel they fucking ashes back in the grave. In the oh casket. My and God. push them back in the grave. And stump them back in. And we're going to throw that dirt on back on. You know what I'm saying? We're going to throw that dirt back on top of them. <laughs> you know what we're going to do, man. Come on. It's gonna they be that bad. Know. They already done. They already hurt right now. But we're gonna talk about this another day. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, gonna say it. We're gonna days. say it in Sunday. We're saying it in Sunday. Sunday, we're gonna come draped in jewels. We're gonna do all that. We're gonna do everything yeah. on Sunday. My homie. Sunday, man. We're gonna talk about it. Hey, good job. Good deal. Hey, hey we tune love in Sunday. You might get some more surprises. Hey, I got some surprises for you too coming up. I got man. some for you too. We're gonna keep coming. <laughs> I got some for you. You already know it's coming. I got some for you. Yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait to see it. All right. I got some coming. Good deal. I know hey, look, I know you got some coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You already know it. Hey, look, and you know, we got y'all Thursday night. <laughs> How you feel about that Thursday night game? We got to say that. I got to see. I got to see Sunday first. Oh, we're gonna, hey, look! Don't let Sunday go bad. I got to see Sunday first. Hey, look! Don't let Sunday go bad for you. Don't let your Sunday go bad in the Cowboys thing, y'all. Hey, it is what it. Hey, don't you let Sunday go bad for you. All right. Well, hey, listen. We gonna see, and we gonna see in fantasy too, because you see me. It's gonna be a long week. Hey, short week, Thursday. If y'all hey, look, if y'all lose, then come back and play us on Thursday night. Oh my God. Look how the tables has turned. We back in the number one spot. Let's go, man. I ain't gonna talk about it, man. We're gonna talk about this thing later on down the road, man. That's, yeah, there you go. Hey, look, we got less than a minute left. Mate, hey, B. We're gonna talk. Nate Sports on Sports, baby. Nate, Nate sports, sports on Sports. sports. We're going to talk. We're going to talk. We're going to talk. We're going to talk. We're going to keep it going. We're hey, going to talk. Be, hey, look, to be continued, man. Nate Sports on Sports. I'm with my guy, B, and we out. <laughs>